bacon gets such a bad rap. I mean, yeah, if you go to the grocery store and you get any like super low quality bacon, then sure, it's probably not the best thing in the world for you. But the fact is, we have to look at how saturated fat really works in the body. We also have to look at what bacon is actually made up of, and it's not saturated fat. In fact, most of it is actually good, healthier, monounsaturated fats. So I'm gonna break down the entire gist on bacon. To be completely honest, I think this kid's got it right. Yeah, I want my bacon, I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me. Hey, you're watching sixpackabs.com and I'm Thomas DeLauer, the lead trainer and lead nutritionist here on sixpackabs.com, bringing you all the ketogenic information you could possibly want and the intermittent fasting information you possibly want, plus a bunch of workout videos too. So let's break down bacon a little bit. So first of all, let's address this whole saturated fat thing. Whether you are on a ketogenic diet or not on a ketogenic diet, saturated fats aren't what they're made out to be. So for so many years, we've been told that saturated fats are gonna contribute to atherosclerosis and cause all kinds of heart conditions and clog our arteries. The reality is that's just not the case. That's not how it works. Saturated fats are actually not that unsafe. You see, it's a matter of how our body is responding in terms of inflammation. You see, for example, when we took a look at the LDL cholesterol, for instance, LDL cholesterol takes cholesterol to the actual cell. Okay, that's the job of LDL cholesterol. Now, if our LDL levels are high, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna have clogged arteries. All that means is that we have higher amounts of LDL cholesterol. The arteries don't actually clog unless there's inflammation there. You see, the arteries actually have cells inside them, and those cells can have inflammation. When there's inflammation there, the LDL particles get caught up there, and the cholesterol gets caught up. So it's actually the inflammation that's coming from the sugar and from the stress that's causing the heart conditions, not the actual saturated fat. So a lot of scientists are starting to show now that saturated fat isn't the culprit anymore. It's more like the actual trans fats and it's the sugars and the things like that. I still stand by the fact that peanut butter with trans fats is far more dangerous than bacon. Okay, so when you're following a ketogenic diet, what's the deal with bacon? Like, should you be loading up on it? Should you be eating less of it, more of it? What's the deal? Well, first off, we have to look at one big thing. Okay, bacon is high in fat and I'm a big proponent of keeping your meats a little bit leaner and adding fats through different sources so you can control it. But the cool thing is when you cook bacon, you're actually cooking about 50% of the fat off anyway. And if you're getting good quality grass fed or grass finished actual good bacon, then you're gonna be in a great situation where the fat is already lesser to begin with. You're already dealing with a leaner cut of bacon. Then you're cooking it, and you're cooking it at a moderately high temperature, you're cooking off most of the fat anyway. So you're actually left with a relatively lean piece of meat. And believe it or not, most of the saturated fat ends up getting cooked off anyway, and you're left with the monounsaturated fats, the fats that aren't even bad for you, bad for you, to begin with. So actually, bacon can be perfect for the keto diet. You can even add a little bit of oil to the bacon if you wanted to, but it's very, very, very important that you're going with a good, clean source of bacon. And this video has actually been sponsored by ButcherBox because these guys have done it right when it comes down to all their meats being grass-fed and grass-finished. So we're talking very, very good omega-3 to omega-6 profiles. When you're on a ketogenic diet, you want high levels of omega-3 and lower levels of omega-6. When you consume any kind of meat, beef, whatever, that has been consuming a bunch of grains and soy, it causes high levels of omega-6 to occur. These are inflammatory. They trigger things that are called interleukins, like interleukin-1, interleukin-6, interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-1-8, all these different interleukins that cause inflammation. So we don't want that, and that's exactly why you want to be taking taking advantage of butcher box and getting your grass fed, grass finished meat and literally bacon for life down in the description down below. So you wanna click that link and you literally will get grass fed, grass finished meat cheaper than what you'll find at the grocery store with significantly better quality. Okay, so linking back to the whole saturated fat and inflammation thing. If you're consuming meats that are high in omega-6 fats, then you have this inflammation occurrence, right? You have this triggering of inflammation because of the omega-6s. Well, then you combine that with the saturated fat then you have a problem, okay? Saturated fat only becomes a problem when it's in the presence of inflammation. So if we trigger inflammation by eating lower quality meats and low quality bacon, then and only then do the saturated fats truly become a problem. In fact, on a ketogenic diet, the body becomes pretty darn efficient at utilizing all chains of fats, whether they're saturated, whether they're monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, you name it. But if we have inflammation in the equation, we're always going to have a problem. That being said, the ketogenic diet in and of itself is very anti-inflammatory. The beta-hydroxybutyrate travels throughout the body and blunts inflammation at so many different levels, predominantly at the nuclear factor kappa B source, but also at the NLRP3 inflammasome source. A bunch of mouthfuls of words, 
all it really means is it blunts inflammation. So ketosis plus good quality bacon that's cooked with most of the fat off of it or lean to begin with is really a perfect harmony that you want. You just want to make sure that, again, you're getting it in the right quality. And also make sure that you're not having a bunch of sodium nitrites and nitrates added to it because, of course, that adds an additional layer that your body has to process. So as always, enjoy your bacon. Enjoy it with some eggs. Enjoy it with the food that you truly want to have on a ketogenic diet. Just skip out on the sugar. And make sure you check out ButcherBox down in the description below. As always, I'll keep you posted on everything that comes up in the world of ketosis, and I'll see you in the next Six Pack Abs video.